Hello, my name is Dr. Sadaf and today we will be performing diabetic foot examination on Dr. Kamran. First, I'll obviously greet the patient and uh, ask for the consent and then I'd uh, ask for the adequate exposure for the examination. Hello, Dr. Kamran. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good, thank okay. you. I'll be performing the diabetic foot examination on your lower limbs today. Uh, for that, uh, thank you for being adequately exposed and uh, I'll be performing certain uh, procedures on your limbs. Uh, would that be okay with you? Yep. Okay, thank you very much. So starting with the examination, we will first go for the inspection. As the patient is adequately exposed, we specifically need to look at the limbs um, below the knees. So on inspection, we will look for uh, we will look at both limbs bilaterally and we will look for any discharge, any redness, any swelling, any sinuses, scar marks specifically because diabetic uh, patients um, have uh, impaired sensations uh, in their extremities so uh, they could have wounds or injuries which they are not aware of so any scar marks. Uh, also we would look for any obvious pigmentations, um, any loss of uh, hair um, or any abnormal hair distribution because of the compromised vascular supply and uh, also something to be uh, uh, noteworthy is uh, any ulcers uh, and there are specific areas for ulcers so we will uh, look at both the limbs but specifically at the feet at the pressure areas where there could be sores or ulcers so that's the bunion area and specifically the heels so Dr. Kamran if I could please lift your uh, foot uh, look at the heel area on the right foot and look at the heel area on the left foot now for any ulcers and uh, also for the bunion area on the left side as well. Another uh, area to look at for any fungal infection or um, uh, ulcers is the interdigital webs. So open all the web spaces and look for any interdigital ulcers or uh, fungal infections. After looking at uh, ulcers and the pigmentations, hair distributions and also look for some skin shininess uh, that is also because of the vascular compromise. So this is our inspection. We've looked bilaterally. One last area to be looked at uh, after you've um, uh, seen the dorsal aspect is the back of the limbs if I could please raise um, and look for any ulcers or any scar marks and all the things that we discussed uh, from the front you need to look at from the back as well and uh, after that moving on to uh, the gait so I would ask the patient to um, stand up from the couch and walk a few uh, steps and uh, high steppage gait is normally something to be aware of in uh, diabetic motor neuropathy after the inspection, I would move on to palpation. So I'll be gently touching your uh, both limbs and uh, if it causes any pain, please do let me know. So for uh, the palpation, you will first of all look at the temperature. For temperature, you need to compare both the limbs and use one of your hands so that uh, your temperature um, is the same for the patient. So uh, comparing bilaterally, starting from downwards, going upwards, so from the foot first, because normally due to vascular compromise, diabetic patients have cold extremities. So you could either go in a zigzag manner or in an ascending manner, comparing the same areas. And it's good from the back of the hand. And lastly, for temperature, you also need to look at the calf temperature, so over here, shouldn't be warm because it would indicate some infection or some infectious going on. Um, after the temperature, we would go for the tenderness. I would be gently pressing on your limbs. If that causes any pain or discomfort, please do let me know, okay? So starting from the feet and looking at the patient's face. Specifically the feet and then the calves are something that you need to look for, tenderness. And the calves again. After the temperature and tenderness, <coughs> we will look at two things which are related to the vascular supply of the foot, which is the capillary refill. So we will press on the nail for about five seconds and then 
remove and see if the uh, nail reperfuses in less than two seconds, which is normal. If there's a delayed refill, that means there's a vascular compromise. And we will do the same on the other limb. So the capillary refill is normal on both sides. Uh, the last thing to see for a vascular compromise is uh, the pulses. So there are two pulses that we uh, specifically see, the dorsalis pedis and the posterior tibial. The dorsalis, the dorsalis pedis is uh, the artery running between the first and the second uh, flexor tendons of the foot. So palpate for it here and bilaterally. So the pulses are palpable and bounding normally in both feet. The other pulse is the dorsalis pedis, which is uh, which runs behind and can be felt uh, behind the medial malleolus. So bilaterally palpating those as well. So the pulses are palpable and normal. So there is no vascular compromise in this patient. <clears throat> So this finishes our general examination. Moving on to the neurological examination in a diabetic foot. Uh, I'd be touching different uh, objects on your limbs. The first of which will be uh, a cotton wisp. So we are, uh, first of all, we're going to um, uh, test the touch sensation. And this will be fine touch sensation for the patient. For this, we will be using a cotton uh, wisp on uh, the limbs and for the soles because it has hard skin we will be uh, we usually use a monofilament so make the patient aware of what it feels like so this is a wisp of cotton and this is what it looks like and this is what it feels like okay i'll be touching this on various uh, places on your lower limbs and when you feel it please say a yes for me during this procedure i'd like you to close your eyes and say a yes for me whenever you feel it okay so we will be touching this bilaterally uh, and uh, comparing the sensations and going in a zigzag manner. So, and test all the dermatomes of uh, the lower limbs. So please say yes when you feel the wisp of cotton. Usually diabetic patients have a glove and stocking pattern, loss of sensations in the lower limbs. So they might not feel. Yes. 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 Thank you yes. very much. So uh, normally, uh, as long as you don't get a sensation or a yes from the patient, you keep on going up to check the level of neuropathy. So my patient has a um, peripheral neuropathy till mid calf and he can feel the sensations from above it. So you discard this in a clinical waste bin. And um, the second sensation that we will be testing the patient on, and I, di I did say that on the sole of the feet, we ne you need to check the fine sensation as well of touch, but that would be with a new, uh, new, uh, uh, monofilament. Now we will check the sensation of proprioception in the patient, uh, for which I will explain to the patient what I'll be doing first. So Dr. Cameron, I'll be moving your thumb and then your ankle up and down. So the thumb I will move like this. This will be up and this will be down, okay? I would like you to close your eyes and let me know if you feel it up or down, okay? <laughs> Similarly, I might do it on your ankle as well. So for the ankle, this, this would be up and this would be down, okay? okay? And let me know if uh, how you feel it up and down, okay? If you could please close your eyes now. Now. This is uh, uh, down. Okay, and what do you feel now? Up. Okay, and now? Down. Okay, and you need to check bilaterally, so where do you feel your thumb now? Down. And now? Up. And now? Down. Okay. And where do you feel your foot now? Up. Okay. And now? Down. And now? Up. Down. 
So the proprioception uh, was impaired in the toes, but it is normal in the ankles. Moving on from proprioception, we will be checking the vibration sensation in the patient. So for the vibration sensation, we use the tuning fork with the longer uh, limbs, and it is the one to eight one uh, fre frequency that we use. So we will, um, Dr. Kamran. So this is a tuning fork, and uh, this is what it looks like, and this is what it feels like. Okay. I'll be touching this on various places on your lower limbs, and you need to tell me if you feel it vibrating. Okay. Thank you very much. Feel anything? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Thank you very much. So um, the four places that we check on the lower limbs are uh, the medial side of the big toe, the medial malleoli, the shins, and the patellar bone. So uh, my patient uh, had no sensations up to the shin, and from above, uh, he could feel the vibration sensations, and they were intact. Moving on, we need to check um, uh, the pain sensation. So this is a neuro pain. This is the blunt side of it, and um, if you remove the cap, uh, there will be a sharp pin inside. So this is a neuro pin and uh, I'll be touching with the blunt side first on various places on your limbs and um, this is for coarse touch so uh, wherever you feel uh, say yes for me okay and uh, after that I'll be uh, checking for pain sensation okay and uh, I will let you know uh, before I start but if you feel a pain prick uh, from a pin um, you will let me know with a yes okay thank you very much so starting with the coarse sensation Say yes for me with your eyes closed if you feel anything. So, doing it bilaterally. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay, thank you very much. So coarse touch was positive above the mid chin. So um, now checking for pain sensation. This is a neuro pin. You remove the cap. This is only to be used on one patient only. So you remove the cap. Now I will be um, testing the pain sensation, Dr. Cameron, and uh, with this sharp pin. So please let me know when you feel the pain, okay? Mm -hmm. Touch it gently, not pricking the patient too much. And looking for the patient uh, patient's expressions on the face yes I'm sorry yes 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 okay so uh, the pain sensation is intact above mid calf uh, and it is uh, altered below the calf this, remember, needs to be thrown in the sharp spin and is to be only used in one patient at one time. Okay, the last uh, thing that is to be done is the reflexes. So we normally check the ankle and the knee uh, jerk in the patients. For that, you need to position the patient in a way. So if I could please flex your um, knee and so you need to extend or plantar flex the ankle. Feel the Ashley's tendon. So the ankle reflex is intact in the patient, so you check bilaterally. And uh, after that, if the ankle reflex is not intact, you ask the patient to, if you could please slide your, limb, uh, your legs down by the end of the couch uh, for the knee jerk. You ask the patient to cross the limbs over uh, one above the other, like that, so that the patient uh, is relaxed. You feel for the quadriceps tendon. And you uh, see a knee jerk reflex. So you do 
um, thank you. If you could cross your left leg up bilaterally. So you see the knee reflexes are intact in the patient. Thank you very much. Uh, this concludes our examination for diabetic foot. I hope you enjoyed and benefited. Thank you.